Well, class, this is going to be our first case study. And um, the process that we're going to use here is pretty straightforward. We're going to first have a, a discussion about what the case study issues you might want to see are. Then you're going to review the case study. Then I'm going to discuss with you what the four outcomes would be, or five outcomes from the information that's presented within the case study. So our first case study is the new furniture group. The new furniture group is on page 323. There's four things I want you to look at. The first thing is, and these are basic questions as you go through any MBA program and any MBA case you should be asking yourself. The first one is, within the case study, within the company, what worked? The second one is, uh, what is a mistake that the company is either making currently or going forward? Third, what changes would you make in the company going forward based on the information that you have? And then finally, what would you suggest the company not do? So you've got four basic questions you're always going to ask yourself when you approach a case study. What worked, what didn't work, what should you do, and what shouldn't you do? Each one of those are very, very important, and your failure to really answer any one of them is um, uh, compromises your ability as, as a good presenter and as an MBA going forward, okay? So I'm going to take a break now. I'm just going to stop uh, talking. You're going to freeze this video. I'm going to read the, study, read the case study, and then we're going to come back and discuss it. Now, welcome back. You read the case study. You got your notes. Let's go over this case study with you. First off, this is the story of Mr. Woody. He gets a big contract, he goes out and he hires people, then he hires you to figure out what to do with the people in order to make everything work. Okay, that's the, the, the case in a nutshell. So what, what did they do right? Well, he, he got a big contract, realized he had to fulfill it so he doesn't have any issues. He hired the people he thinks that he needs for it, that's another good thing. Okay? He hired you because that'll give him an opportunity to get it fixed. Okay? And now he's sitting down with you to try to figure out what he should do. So he's, it would appear that he's got a plan that's going right. But where is he making his mistake? He's coming to you late in the game. He's saying to you after he's done all this, okay, now I want you to organize and, and go forward. He did everything backwards, right? He should have found you first. He should have come to you and said, listen, this is what I've got. What are we going to do for a plan? And then you as an MBA would sit down and would say, okay, these are the people we need here. These are the people we need here. We're going to talk to some HR people about that. We're going to do training on this, we're going to have it. So when the people are hired and they come in and they start laying out the money for the salaries, they're actually making product. That's a mistake. It's got it all backwards. So do you think this is a unique or a common problem? Right? Well, let's think about that. How many companies do we know have done things only to realize later on we went in the wrong direction? We didn't think it all the way through. There are a lot of them out there. Um, a lot of them probably have gone bankrupt over time. Um, but this is not an uncommon problem. The company thinks it's, got a, it's organizing itself in a certain direction. The problem is it didn't have a plan. Or the plan isn't dynamic enough for the changing situation. So it's not a unique problem. It's a very common problem. So if you were telling him, what should he do? I, I didn't put the other one. What shouldn't he do? Well, first thing is easy, what not to do, right? Don't hire any more people. Stop, please, okay? What should he do? He needs a plan. He realizes that now. But you should sit down and you would say to him, is we've got to get organized very quickly. We've got to get a plan in place that we can live with so that we can now fill these slots, organize around the plan. Okay, so that's, that's what you're going to tell him. Uh, don't do anything more. That's the, what not to do. You've done enough. And now over here, what are we going to do? We're going to get a plan, and then we're going to execute the plan. And then you'll see as we, we continue our studies, you're going to say to him, and that's a dynamic plan. We might have to change the plan in response to what's happening. But right now we're going to get a plan. That's what we would suggest that he does, okay? The next one we're going to do is going to be the invincibility case, and that's on page 365. 